how's everybody doing today and as you can see episode 8 is now here so you know what to do hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and of course always leave some comments i love reading your guys's comments the more comments the more likes the more i know you guys want to want me to continue the series and want me you know to keep going with it because uh you know you guys have been showing amazing support so i want to continue to bring you episodes so with that being said you guys can see we are 2 and 56 if you want to see how we got that win up above in the top right hand corner go and click that link so you can go and watch last episode to get all caught up on what has happened so today we're four days out of draft day so we're gonna we're gonna cover the draft and then we're gonna hop into a game for June so for June I'm thinking either the Mets or maybe maybe the Padres maybe the Phillies but maybe I'm thinking maybe the Mets I think we should play the Mets um, they're a 500 team we played the Yankees last time the the Red Sox wouldn't be bad I just don't feel like we're ready to play well you know what I know I've been kind of all over the place trying to decide a team let's let's just see how the game against the Red Sox goes you know just to see how we you know a team like the Red Sox like they have a, a decent team so we could uh this might be a good matchup for us so let's get into the draft and see how it goes and then we'll go against the Red Sox and uh, hopefully not get absolutely destroyed like we did when we played the Yankees last year so next time you you know you hear me we'll be uh we'll be entering draft day alrighty so we have the first overall pick obviously we had the worst record last year in baseball the worst ever you know record in baseball history realistically so let's 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 figure out what we want to do with these draft picks and hopefully get someone good already i normally try to avoid high overall players because that normally means that their potential is not going to be that good but i have this guy fully scouted my scouts are really good so i trust it he's got good contact numbers good plate vision plate discipline his fielding looks decent i think this is a good pickup we definitely are going to need a shortstop. This guy is six foot five and a shortstop. I think this, this guy is going to be a really good pickup for us. Geraldo Villanueva, 18-year-old. He could be a, a, a stud. I'm going to go Luis Diaz here. Besides his stamina and walks per nine, his projected stats look really good. He's a lefty, um, and we didn't draft the lefty last year for the bullpen, so I think drafting one now will definitely help us next season. We're going to go Jonathan Busby if his power numbers live up we have a power hitting outfielder with some speed that is a great combo he can play center field um which is a little disappointing because if he doesn't have any secondary positions that would really hurt his value because i don't want to move victor victor out of center we're gonna go patrick barrios center field second and third um his speed is something and his contact numbers i'm also interested in is it willie k no maybe craig jack craig jack's another one his speed looks decent his contact looks good and then um this guy simon aragon looks decent as well um but he's got a 70 overall already and i usually stay away with from that if i don't have him scouted so i'm thinking i'm gonna go patrick barrios and you know if he doesn't turn out well that kind of sucks but we'll, we'll have to see how it goes i normally try to avoid it and i've been saying it all draft try to avoid the 70 overall if i don't have it fully scouted but i'm gonna take a chance we need to solidify the bullpen and the pitching so robbie gore is going to be the next pick in the fourth round we're gonna go brad cavazos it at this point i i really just don't know who to draft all right because he's left he's got 80 potential andres ramirez is going to be our pick because Hubble looks decent. He looks okay. Kaufman looks okay, but maybe mm, you know what? I'm gonna backtrack. I'm I'm gonna go with a, a reliever just to help with the bullpen a little bit more. I like the looks of Kaufman a little bit more than Hubble, so we're gonna go with that. That's gonna round out the draft. I'm not as I'm not feeling as good as last year's draft so let's go see how our picks ended up so definitely not as good as last year's but we def we, we do have some solid pickups i mean like i said villanueva looks like a stud for the future i mean look at his stats already 
He's a 74 overall. He's going to be joining us next year. He's got a potential. He's got decent hitting numbers already. Good vision, good discipline, good clutch. His fielding, 83 fielding, 70 arm strength, and the arm accuracy could be a little bit better. Decent speed, good stealing. This guy is going to be very good. This He looks on real Her Geraldo Villanueva this is going to be our star next season for sure he's he this is a player that we're gonna have to start from day one Luis Diaz 47 overall not as good 72 potential I thought he was gonna be a little bit better unfortunately he wasn't Jonathan Busby he's got 95 speed and 70 73 power versus lefties already um so not not a bad little bench bat or even like a pinch runner um, but you know 78 potential it, that's not a bad player for the future um, another quick player Patrick Barrios um, from Mexico 58 overall 75 potential Robbie Gore's only got 68 potential Ugh. 51 overall 81 potential from Brad Cavazos um, that's that's not horrible at all and then James Kaufman you can see 59 overall 81 potential so I mean, not as good as last year. Definitely not as good as last year. Um, but def definitely some nice little pickups. That Villanueva one, I think, is just he's he's going he's going to be an absolute monster. Like we have we have some good pieces to build around now. We have um, Real Menzar, who I think only has C potential, but he definitely is going to be a solid pitcher for us for a couple seasons. We have Kevin Page, who I think is going to be really good. We have Robles at third, who I think is going to be very good. Stuart Merrill only has C potential, but I think he's going to be a decent player for us. And now we got Villanueva. We got these two pitchers. I mean, even Busby, I think, will be a good player down in like a season or two. So I'm I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this, this, this team. I'm thinking these guys are going to be really good. Alrighty, heading into the game against the Red Sox. Um, looking at this Padres game, we put 10 on the Padres. And uh, it looks like Adabelt, Adabelt, I always mess up his name. Gonsalves came in and we lost the game there. And then we got shut out the next game. But uh, David Price or Eduardo Rodriguez. It's looking like David Price is having a little bit of a rough year. So this, this might be the game for us. We are going to be at home. And it's looking like the Red Sox aren't doing too amazing. That's it's kind of interesting to see. I feel like we wear the blacks way too much. So maybe we can just figure this out. Let's see who what do we want to rock today? You know what? We'll just go. Yeah, let's rock the orange ones. I feel like we don't rock the orange ones enough. Fenway Park. Um Truman Bartholomew. Or do we want to go with Real Manzar? Let's go Truman. I feel like he's like iconic for our team. We got the DH in effect today, so that's that's always good. Clyde Niles is on. Mm. Let's see, can Stuart Merrill play? He could play third. How's you know what? We'll we'll let Yeah, because Clyde's lefty, so I think we should probably have as many righties in the lineup as possible so yeah this is this is the lineup we got victor victor mesa pepito um page robles rain rodney yancey maverick moss stuart merrill and then danilo prince to line it up you guys can see their roster um all right whatever let's see they got Bogarts, Pedroia, Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez, Ben Attendi, Abreu, Devers, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Christian Vasquez. So, I mean, it's David Price. It's definitely a, you know, um, what's what am I looking for? He's, he's a good pitcher. Obviously, he's aging, so he may have decreased in overall by now. But we'll have to see how this goes. The Red Sox are still a really good team offensively, and I think this is going to be a really good matchup for us. I want to see how we're going to perform, um, especially with this lower-rated pitcher in Truman. I think this is going to be a good matchup. So Victor Victor's got seven homers on the year, a 238 average. Okay, not horrible. Let's see what we got. Two fastballs, a changeup, a cutter, and a knuckle curve. All right. 
And that's an out. Man. That's a that's a quick out there <laughs> to the inning. Alrighty, Pepito. Let's see how this goes. He's hit over 500 the last 10 games. He's absolutely on fire. This is uh <laughs> this might be a really quick inning for us. We'll see how they attack him in this game. 1-1, one, one, I was a little late on the fastball, which which sucks because it wasn't a bad pitch to hit. So let's see if we can get something going now. Oh, that's going to... Is that all? No way. It's off the wall. We're going to get a double here. That actually was some really good contact. I was early on it too. So maybe if I would have actually timed it well, that that might have gone pretty deep. So yeah, I was, I was early on that. So... He takes it off the wall, a two-out double. I'll take that. Kevin Page, like I was saying, he he might be a key piece for us in the future. Oh, I was actually good, good on that fastball. Okay. All right, full count now. I'm going to take my hands off the controller because I feel like if I swing, I'm going to end up making it out. And it, it, it works out for us because now we got first and second with two outs. All right, Rain Rodney has 11 RBIs on the year. Can we make it 12? He is only hitting 173, but... You never know. I shouldn't have swung at that. I, sh I should have been a little bit more patient. I, I wasted that opportunity. 2-2 two -two now. He's worked it back to even. Ooh, gets the K. Truman Bartholomew. That's a good way to start, start the game. Keep Mookie off and just face JD next inning. And that's not, that's not gonna, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen, you know. Oh. A two-out single for Mookie Betts. Oh, he's stealing. Kevin Page, come on. Let's get him out here. Oh, he got in. The tag just wasn't quick enough. I thought for sure we had that. But all right, guy on second now, scoring position. JD's up. It's a one-two count. All right. This is a little dangerous now. Probably shouldn't do this. Oh, that's going to go foul. Oh, man, he reached out for that one. All right, Vulcan change down in the zone. See if we get him. Just fouls it off, man. Oh man, I thought maybe we would have gotten him. Two two now. Ah man, I'm freaking out. Oh, we get the K looking. J D Martinez goes down, and the man is stranded at second. All right, Bartholomew. I see what you're doing on the mound today. All right, Yancey Esmond. He's hitting up. Solid 170 on the year. And he's actually going to get a base hit. Zero speed. So that's all it's going to be. Plus, uh, pretty sure if that's Bradley in center, he's got a decent arm. So I really don't want to test that. But leadoff single. Cannot complain about that. Now we got Maverick Moss up. Who, with Villanueva coming in next season, his, uh, his time starting at short might be limited now. And, oh, that just barely went foul. Oh, man. Alrighty, 0-1 count. Okay, that's, that's a good take. That's a good take. So, 1-1. We have zero speed on first. Like, literally zero. Not just saying he's slow. Like, he, he just doesn't have any speed. Zero. So, if we get a hit... Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I swung at absolute trash last pitch. And is that going to... That's going to drop. All right, Maverick Moss. There we go. First two batters reach. And we're we're looking kind of dangerous here in the second. All right, this might be a double play here. Actually, no. 69 speed is going to beat it out first and third with one out. Okay. All right. It It's not the worst thing. Danilo Prince is hitting 238 too. So, I mean, definitely could be a lot worse here. Zero speed. I don't think this is deep enough to... No. Ooh, that, that, that's the worst possible outcome. That right there. That is... <sighs> we do have Victor Victor up next, like up now. So I mean, it's not the worst, but uh. 
pitch of the at bat on its way. I should have swung at that. That was a good pitch to hit. That really was. Oh, one count. We had first and second, no outs. Ugh. Oh. And that's that's not gonna drop. That's 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 an opportunity wasted right there. Ah, that really should be that really should be a run in our favor. Oh, Danilo, you gotta make that play. All right, let's get the ball in. All right, leadoff single, not not what I'd like to see, but. Oh well, Abreu's up now. Benatendi on first. All right, 1-0 count. There we go. Let's turn this. Come on, easy as you like. That was solid right there. Double play. Get out. Get out of that inning. No damage done. This is uh, we're looking good. We got three hits on the day. Defense is playing well. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. They get that call, but I didn't get the one in the previous inning. All right. Again, feel like umps are always against us. And then I swing in a ball, and it's going to be a 1-2-3 inning for us. Oh, no. It's actually thrown off. My oh, okay. The inning's still alive. Error keeps it alive. Rain Rodney's up. I mean, he's been known to get an extra base hit every once in a while. So this, uh, this could be a, a good inning. He just pulled the first baseman off. Rain Rodney. Is that... Mm, that was a good piece of hitting. Just... Just, uh, just in the wrong spot. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's get this one. 0-1 oh, one count here. And uh, that's, uh, that's a base hit. Alright, so... I forgot who they have leading off now. I feel like I should know it. But I don't. But that's that's a one out single. Oh yeah, it's Xander Bogarts. So they got Vasquez on first, Xander Bogarts up, one out. Alright. Oh man. Hit and run. Jeez. Alright, now we're in a now we're in a, a little bit of a pickle. One out first and third with uh Pedroya up. That's that was too much of the plate. And this is going to get Bogarts to third. And that's a double. Oh, man. Mm. This is uh, it's a little dangerous now. We're uh, Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez. We're, we're hitting a dangerous part of the lineup. Please send Pedroia. Mm, I was, I, if they sent Pedroia, that's an out. But now... JD's up. Yeah, this was what I was worried about. I was worried about them scoring one, and then it just kind of kept going and going and going and like this. This is not good at all. Like it's just first and third after first and third. Yikes. Alright, let's turn two. Come on, get to first. There we go. Okay. Three runs. It's it's tough. That's that was a rough inning. That 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 one hurt. That one hurt a lot. And I that's what I was afraid of. You know, I felt like they would get on a little bit of a run, a little bit of a roll, and uh, they would definitely take advantage of it, unlike us. But Yancey, can you start us off right? You do with a single. Okay, two for two on the day. And like this is the thing, we can get hits. It's just. When we gotta be clutch, it just doesn't it just doesn't happen, which sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like we had first and second no outs, and we just couldn't do anything with it. So, alrighty, it's three nothing. I'm gonna, I mean the score and the count. I'm gonna let this be a ball, and it walks. So I mean it worked out for us. We got first and second again with no outs. Um, this is actually the last, those were the two that got on last time we had first and second with no out. So let's see if we can rewrite the history here. Uh, oh, get to third. You got zero speed. I think you're going to be thrown out. <gasps> they called him safe. We got bases loaded. No outs. Oh, man. Stuart Merrill. I'll, I'll take that base hit. I didn't think that was going to be a hit. I was early. I wasn't even good contact. Bases loaded, no outs. Oh, come on. 
Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't a little early on that one. Ooh. All right, 0-1. Oh, that's going to be a double play, but you, that's at least one run. I will take that. I will. We get one on the board. I mean, it's the best worst outcome that we could have gotten you know two outs but we do get a run so it's bittersweet but uh, i'm okay with that victor victor's up so let's see if we can uh, at least get one more if he can get a hit is that gonna squeeze through he might actually beat this out so hey it's a one run ball game that's that's perfectly fine with me devers can't make the play at third we got 86 speed at first. This is okay. This is not a this is not a bad outcome. This is a great inning for us actually. I was a little early on that one, but okay. That's fine. 3-2 ball game now. This is actually a ball game. It's not it, it's not just uh we're getting thrashed. That's a strike, but the pitch before it was a ball. Oh man. What is this ump seeing? Bartholomew make the play, make the tag? That's okay. Still throw it to first just to be safe. And uh, one up, one down. Rafael Devers, um, you know, one out here. I mean, we just got to not let that drop. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Just keep it in front of you. I would rather you keep it to a single rather than miss the catch. It goes all the way to the wall. And then we have a runner on third, so not horrible so hit and run bartholomew's getting tired yeah i know bartholomew's getting tired that's oh man you've got to be kidding me oh right at victor victor make the oh it wouldn't it wouldn't move it wouldn't let me move it he like locked in place so like i was kind of spamming the stick because <laughs> he wouldn't move he locked in place so i was kind of scared that it was gonna get by him if truman can get me this out gets me out of this inning this is a phenomenal outcome for us all right that's that's it for bartholomew i can't i can't have him pitching anymore he's just too tired i was kind of hoping he would have gotten through the inning but i can't take any more chances we're going to bring in Troy Lee, one of our higher rated pitchers. I think he's like a 62, 63 or something like that. So if he can just get this out, this is perfect. Oh, yes. Get to second, toss it there. Perfect. Just what we needed, a one pitch out. That's awesome. All right, we're taking all the way here because, I mean, the last two times he's thrown balls. So he does throw a strike this time. Okay, 3-1. Still got to be absolutely sure it's a strike if I want to swing at it. And there it is, ball four. Kevin Page is on first. All right. Sean Robles, every time I talk about his power, I don't get a hit with him. So maybe we can get a hit with him now. That's that's a double play. Oh, I thought maybe that was going to sneak through. I just I can't figure him out. I just can't get a hit with him. All righty, Rain Rodney. Keep the inning alive. There it is. Little base hit up the middle. There we go. Alrighty, 0-2. Yancey Esmond is going to go two for three now. I, I, I swung at three pretty bad pitches that at bat for Yancey. So kind of a wasted, a wasted at bat. I don't want to throw him a fastball, so I'm just going to keep throwing him. You, you got to be kidding me. That is like... Oh, uh, like, to be honest, that's a great piece of hitting. Like, if you are you have an outside pitch like that and you hit it through the, the hole, that's perfect. Like, for him, great. For me, that sucked. Probably should have just threw, threw it to first, but you know what? It gets the out. It gets the job done. We get out of the inning, and hey, it is still a one-run ball game. that oh there we go Danilo Prince a two out single to right I thought maybe it was going to be one of those where like Pedroia makes some crazy leaping catch but it just just kept carrying and I'll take it a two out single um Victor Victor's up now 
So maybe it would have been better if Prince got off, got out, and then Victor Victor could have let off next inning, especially since I'm swinging at absolute trash. But we'll see how this goes. 0 2, come on, Victor. That should, is that going to drop? There we go, another hit. First and second, two outs. Uh, Pepito's up. It's a little cold today, a little cold today, but you never know. He could he could pop up with a clutch hit here. 0-1. Oh, I was early. Centered on it. Perfect. I was just early. So we're sitting at 0-2 now. All right, that's a ball. Okay, 1-2 count. Man. We also get a lot of hits with two outs. I feel like... If we could do this consistently with like no outs, it would be a lot better. All right, one, two count. Here we go, Pepito. And I need you here. This is this is a big time situation, and that might do it. Jackie Bradley's arm's pretty good, and if Victor Victor Mesa gets thrown out at third, oh, thank God. Woo, woo. We got a tie ball game. Pepito coming in the clutch. I like it. I was more worried about Victor Victor getting thrown out at third before Pepito or before Danilo Prince scored because Danilo Prince is super slow and um, Victor Victor Mesa rounded second so poorly. So luckily they didn't get a tag or anything. But now Kevin Page has got a chance to give us the lead. All right, come on, Kevin Page. Be clutch. Oh, not not enough, not enough behind that one. Oh, but that is a tie ball game. I'm ooh, I'm hyped now. Ah, uh, three one now. That's a home run. That's gone. Oh, it just curved foul. Ooh, full count now. And we get him strong. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that's a great comeback right there. We were at what three one and he comes back to strike him out. That's what I'm talking about. Get oh Stuart Merrill, ooh making the play at first. Two up, two down. If Maverick Moss made the play, that would have been unreal. But that's okay. A two outs, two out single. That's not not the worst thing. Um, so who do they have up? Christian Vasquez. Yeah. Just gotta hit our spots. Just gotta get one more out. I was really thinking Hippolito maybe one, two innings mo at most. So I was kind of hoping for a quick inning here. So we just we just gotta hit our spots. Make sure we get this out here. And uh, that's not an out at all. Mm. That's not good. That's two straight hits now. And now they're up to the top of the order. Xander Bogarts is up. Uh, come on, Hippolito. I need you here. That's, oh, that's, that might be two runs. This is definitely two runs. Oh, man. Uh, oh, no. Just got back in the game. All right. It's looking like we're going to have to make a change, unfortunately. We're going to bring in Gonzalez. Please, this should be Victor's ball, but because it's a right, right-handed hitter, it's gonna curve towards right field. So Pepito makes the play. Unfortunately, those two runs did score, though. Man. <sighs> All right, I'll take a walk. I mean, it's a leadoff, a leadoff walk. We got a run around now. That that that's definitely a good out. That's a good outcome for uh, for us. We got 52 speed on first. Rain Rodney's up. Double play. Mm. I don't think Gonzalez is going to finish his hitting. I think just the way his energy is going. Plus, Mookie Betts just got a base hit. Uh, Alright, I think he's going to go this up, this pitch. Oh, he didn't. And I threw a meatball. Oh, Pepito made the play. Okay. I thought, I was like, it's one of those. He's not making the play. This is not good. All right, we're going to bring in a lefty. We're going to bring in the man, Darby Jarvis. 
It's his time to shine here. He went. Come on, Blue. You got to give me that call. Vulcan change. Of course, it's this one. He goes on it. All right. We're going to get an out at first. That's okay. Two outs. Man in scoring position, though. But, uh, I mean, at least we got the second out. That's that's key right there. And now they got Jose Abreu up. It's all right. Darby Jarvis is up to the task for sure. See? He has it. Splitter gets the ground ball. We're going to toss it over to first. Heading into the eighth. We're down two. But uh, we should... I think we're, what, towards the bottom of the lineup? So we got Maverick Moss, who's one for two on the day. We got... Uh, who's after Maverick? I want to say Stuart Merrill. So we got we got our hitters coming up. 1-0 count. Come on, Maverick. That's a slap base hit. See, there we go. Maverick Moss, two for three on the day. He's got a walk, a run. You know, he's slapping. He's slapping. 2-2, two, two, two outs. I centered it up. I was just late on it. So, uh, what's going to happen? Curveball. Mm. Oh, man. Lead off base runner. And again, opportunity wasted. Opportunity wasted. Darby Jarvis. All right, come on, man. We need just one out from you, maybe. And I'll probably bring in someone. Yeah. Ah, I just couldn't even get the out. Jackie Bradley Jr. is on first. Uh, all right, so I'm pretty sure it's the top of the... Or was that? No, that was uh, Rafael Devers, wasn't it? So, he's got no stamina. We're going to bring in... We'll bring in Robles. And then, hopefully, we can turn two here. That'd be nice. Not if I'm throwing those kind of fastballs. I mean, it wasn't a horrible pitch. I mean, it was on the outside part of the plate, but wasn't where I wanted it. So, if still a two-run ball game. We got to we gotta do something next. And he's stealing. All right, well, we're not going to turn two. I'm sick and tired of the CPU doing that. Christian Vasquez is up. Ex what? What? I'm sorry. Okay. Like, what was that? That's rough. All right, come on. Let's turn two here. 72 speed. He might beat this out. He is. Man. We do. I mean, we got the lead runner. That run scoring last at bat, though, that, that hurts a lot. That really does. All right. Robles gets the K. We're down three, though, going into the ninth. I don't think we've ever come back from three runs in the ninth. I don't think we... And we got to go against uh, Craig Kimbrell. Ooh. Top nine. Six to three ball game. Come on. Yikes. All right, what does Kimbrel got again? I know he's got he's got the uh, two fastballs and a curve. That's what it is. I had good timing on that. I guess I just my PCI placement was off on the the curve. Okay. Come on. Oh two. He just gave me three curves. Come on. I sh that should be a home run for Robles. That should have been number three for him. Last strike. I can't. Oh, no. I just got absolutely schooled by Ke uh, Craig Kimbrell. So, to be honest, it was a pretty good game. And I know I say that every game for us, but 11 hits. Um, And, you know, we brought it back in the, what was it, the sixth. And then we let those two runs in. But this was a bit of a showdown. I mean, a lot of hits. 27 hits on the day. And... Uh, again, I feel like I kind of let the team down. You know, I left the pitcher in for a little bit too long. Um, but I don't know. I feel it's it it's small small things that are really escaping us. Like we could win these games if maybe we could get one more hit, or if we could get you know an extra base runner, or if instead of getting a hit with two outs, we could get it with one out or no outs. So. You know, the clutch factor is just not clicking for me. And unfortunately, it's costing us some victories. But they're, you know, we, we've got good games. And unfortunately, it's just, oh, man, it's it's getting difficult. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode. If you did, as always, make sure you hit that like button. Before we head out, though, let's see how the rest of the month plays out. And uh, maybe maybe we get another win somehow.
you know because last episode we got pretty lucky with the win so let's see if we can uh um somehow sneak out another victory we lost there it is we did it against the tampa bay rays and against the blue jays maybe i need to stop playing maybe that's maybe that's the key we have four victories and the <laughs> we have four victories on the year only one of them have come through my control so <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's the key we just i can't I can't play if we want to win the game. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, so yeah, I mean that must be it. Like I, I guess, I guess I just can't, I can't, you know, control the games because I feel like otherwise we're not, we're not, we're not winning the games. If I, if I play, we don't win. If the CPU plays, we're, we're getting wins. So hey, we got two wins. That's this month. We're, we're making progress we're going a step in the right direction that is okay all right hmm i like it all right so the four and 77 marlins what is going on with us we're we're like a whole new ball club now so like i said guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um next episode we'll kind of do like a midway checkpoint uh see how everyone's performing see the standings and stuff like that how everyone's progressing and stuff and then we'll also play a game let me know who you guys think we should play should we play the brewers the orioles um the orioles have bryce harper so that could be a good matchup for us um the phillies the reds um and things like that so let me know what you guys think uh and uh i think that's it again i can't believe we're at a 4 and 77 team so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and i'll catch you all in the next one peace